hi guys welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be sharing a very quick easy and delicious recipe for chicken schnitzel if you want to see how I'm making this please stick around and let's cook together to start with our chicken schnitzel I have one chicken breast here washed and I trimmed all the fat I'm gonna go in and slice our chicken breast into two pieces and you're making like a heart here. See that? And then we're gonna cut this back in half. And now I'm gonna show you the fun part to make the chicken schnitzel. We have to pound the meat so we can tenderize it and break up all the fiber and all the muscles from the chicken so we can get a very nice and soft tender meat so i just added a piece of cling wrap over the chicken because we're going to use a rolling pin to pound the chicken schnitzel is a thin slice of meat usually thin in by pounding with a meat tenderizer or a rolling pin if you don't have one so i'm going to use my rolling pin today and it is popular in france Poland, Japan, and Italy. It can be done with a variety of meat such as chicken, pork, veal, beef, mutton, and even turkey. So today, my version is the chicken version, and let's pound away this meat to tenderize it now. So be careful that you don't pound too hard because you're gonna smash the whole meat up. You just wanna go in lightly, So we're breaking up all the tissues. And this one is good. So I nicely pound all the meat nice and thin. They're all tenderized perfectly. I have them here in this dish. So what we're gonna do now, We will add our ingredients and we only need some salt at the moment to flavor up our chicken and some black pepper. I have three chicken breasts which give me six pieces of chicken. Now I'm gonna flip them on the other side and we will do the same on the other side. So for the chicken schnitzel, we need some eggs. I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt to the eggs and just a pinch of black pepper. And I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of milk in here and we're gonna whisk the egg up. So we also need some breadcrumbs and some dried flour. I'm gonna quickly season the breadcrumbs, just a pinch of salt, and we're gonna add some paprika to the breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna leave all the measurement in the description below for all the ingredients that I'm using today. We're gonna mix everything up and then we're gonna start braiding our chicken and frying them nicely. So first of all, we're gonna go in with our flour and we're gonna lightly dust the chicken into the flour. Then we're gonna go in for egg bath. And then we're gonna go right into our breadcrumbs. And we're gonna make sure that we covered 
this chicken with the breadcrumbs. Lightly. And then we're gonna add them to the oil. So my chicken is frying up. We're gonna fry them two to three minutes on each side before they're fully cooked and ready. So to go with our chicken schnitzel dinner, we're gonna make a coleslaw. And I have here one medium cabbage. I have one organic carrot. I already peeled the carrot. And I have half of a red onion. First of all, we're gonna start with the cabbage and we're gonna thinly slice and chop our cabbage into small pieces. I'm gonna serve the chicken schnitzel with some creamy, delicious coleslaw. And I went ahead and made this about two hours before I start cooking the chicken so all the flavors can really marry it in. It can be delicious when we're ready to serve the dinner. So let me show you how I prepare the coleslaw. With half of the cabbage, I'm just going to cut it back into half and you want to remove any of the dry leaf on top of the cabbage or the ripe leaf or the outer layer of the cabbage. We're just going to cut out the hard core and then I'm going to go ahead and just thinly slice the cabbage. Now we're gonna reach chop the cabbage into smaller pieces or to the texture that you like your coleslaw. And right here, I have a bowl with some water. I'm gonna put my cabbage in here and we're gonna make sure that we wash every part of the cabbage before making our coleslaw. I just washed the cabbage and I'm draining out all the water. While the cabbage is draining, I'm gonna grate my carrot on a cheese grater to add to our coleslaw. So now that I have my grated carrot, I also finely chopped half of a red onion. I like to add the red onion to my coleslaw because it takes the coleslaw to a different level. So in the bowl, we're gonna add our carrot We're gonna add the red onions. And we will start mixing flavor into the bowl. So let me go in just with a pinch of salt. The cabbage is very plain tasting, so we wanna spike it up a little. And just a pinch of black pepper. Coleslaw usually tastes best on the second day or if you can make it ahead of time before serving your meal, you will get the best results. So that's why I started mine early. We're gonna add some low fat mayo and you're gonna go in with how much you like in your coleslaw. I will leave all the measurement in the description below. I'm gonna go in now and mix all this goodness together. So my coleslaw is done. I'm gonna cover it nicely and leave it in the fridge until I finish preparing my chicken and we will come back to this. So here is the finished product. My chicken, schnitzels, coleslaw, and I'm topping it off with some asparagus. So here is that beautiful dinner that I just prepared to all my American friends. I wish you guys a happy Memorial Day. Hope you all had a wonderful long weekend. I have a birthday shout out. Happy birthday greetings going out to Divya from your loving mom, dad, brother, and my family and our YouTube family would like to wish you a happy, happy birthday with many more birthdays to come. So let me dig in now for a piece of our chicken schnitzel. I'm gonna go right in the center to show how perfect this chicken is cooked. 
And chicken schnitzel is best served when it's hot. It's more delicious. Look at that. Beautiful here. Cook right through. And a nice, nice piece of meat. So let me go in for a piece right here. So this first mouthful goes to all my viewers and all the subscribers. Cheers. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The meat is soft and juicy and there is a crunch on the outside from the breadcrumb the, and the egg. Oh my gosh. It tastes amazing. And now for the coleslaw to complement the chicken. This mouthful also goes to my viewers. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing flavors going on. The coleslaw is so delicious. I can taste the flavor of the red onions in there and it spike up that coleslaw so well. And to complement our dinner, final step, we had to add some greenery in there and I just sauteed some of my asparagus in some butter and garlic. Mm, 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 mm. Please leave in a comment and let me know if you ever had this meal before. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.